Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. This time I'm answering the question about how to use private browsing mode in Google Chrome. It's very simple to use, but you're going to want to understand what it means. And stay tuned to the end because there's another part that you may feel is important because this alone may not address your major concerns. So you might want to watch that as well. So let's jump in. So using any shortcut that you have to Google Chrome, if you left click on it, it opens it normally. But if you right click on it, you have an option to go into an incognito window. When that opens, it basically tells you what it does. And it says that any websites you go to, it's basically private. So anyone else that uses this computer, they won't be able to see what websites you went to. It's not storing any of the cookies from those sites or any other site data. And any forms that you enter data into is not saved. However, what you need to be aware of is that any websites that you visit, they can still see who you are, where you come from, and that you were there, and when and for how long and what you did on their website. Also, if you're using this at work or school, your employer or someone at the school could be monitoring those websites that you're on including your internet service provider if you're just doing this from home. So if you think you can go in incognito mode and look up some shady stuff, your internet service provider might find something that they feel is required for them to report you to the police. So don't do anything stupid there. Now there's a second component to this that is completely unrelated, but it will help you to become more private because anyone can still see what you're doing, where you're coming from. What you're going to need is a VPN of some sort. I've got one through Avast, so let me show you that real quick. So down at the bottom here, I've got the Avast Secure Line. That just happens to be their product. If I open it up first before turning it on, we can see it shows me it's off and I can see what my current IP address is. Now that it's on, it shows me what my actual IP address is that's hidden and then the virtual address, which is what everyone else on the internet sees and thinks I'm at. So what this does is not only hide where I am in the world, but it also encrypts the data. So anything I do online, any websites I go to, it's all encrypted and garbage. So nobody would be able to see what I'm doing and where I'm going. So it's really great, especially if you're using your laptop in a coffee shop or some other public Wi-Fi, like an airport or something, then you would turn this on. So everyone else that's on the same public wireless network, then they won't be able to see what you're doing, especially if you're doing any banking online, shopping online, or anything else that requires putting in credit card information. And that's it for this tutorial, and I hope you did find it helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Even better, a super thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. I think that was a good one.